Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine reporting to you from the SunMade annual meeting here in downtown Fresno. I'm here with CEO Harry Overly. We talked about a lot of things today on the marketing side as well as production side from SunMade's perspective. And uh, you also spoke at our annual Grape Nut and Tree Fruit Expo in Fresno. And two, some of the things you mentioned on both was the fact that SunMade doesn't have a brand recognition. But what we want to do is, is get it on the more top of the mind. Exactly. So I was hoping you could talk to us a little bit about that, expound upon it, see where we're. Sure. Yeah, we, we've um, over the past year we have done more research than I've ever done in my career in a short amount of time uh, to really understand the characteristics and the real true attributes of the Sunmade brand. And what we found was not surprising to us, but we needed to validate it was the fact that people trust Sunmade, and there's a loyalty to Sunmade that is not matched by any other brand within this category which gives us a lot of license to be able to extend the brand into other areas because of that trust and that emotional connection to us. So what we intend to do is really focus on marketing and communicating with the millennial parents and also innovating and developing products for them that are raisin and fruit forward, but not necessarily always just the red box. The red box will be the core of our business and we're gonna optimize that, but we need to develop some other things different flavors, different varieties, different pack formats that are more suitable to meet the needs of today's parents. And you see, you know, sun-made raisins or raisins in general being right up there at the cashier. Oh yeah, right oh yeah, day. yeah. So we, I mentioned that today is one of the channels that we're really underdeveloped in is the convenience channel. So, you know, you don't see us at the register. There's actually one account that does do that and it does really well, but we haven't been able to expand upon it. So, and, and a lot of that has been the lack of innovation that Sunmade has historically had and not willing to uh, create new formats and invest to be able to do that. It was, when I came on, I was told, well, this is a box company. Well, the, the box has a tremendous amount of equity, but it's not applicable for every channel. So you got to think about pouches and bags and different types of canisters. In order to compete on the front end uh, or at the checkout, you need to be in a different format than what we have today. Or, you know, quite simply, we need to single wrap every box that's there if we want to stay in the box. But as we stand today, uh, we don't have the exact match that will work within that channel, so we need to develop that. Right, now you had some, some new products you're showing, showcasing today. Mm -hmm. Is there, you know, how many products have you guys released in, like, this year, or moving forward, mm -hmm. what's the? So this year we have six new products uh, that are coming to market. Four of them are uh, entering the fruit snack category and the sour raisin snacks is what we've called them. And so they'll be head to head within that world of gummy fruit snacks in a different aisle. Uh, in some customers you'll see that, or in some grocery aisles you'll see them still next to each other because that's how they're merchandised today. In other areas, what it means is that SunMade will be in a different part of the store. And that's what we're looking for, is we need new eyeballs to rem remember SunMade and see SunMade in a new light. So we're really excited about that launch this year. Uh, just as much as, as that, we're launching two new specialty fruit items, an organic mango product and organic cranberry product. So start developing some more uh, fruit forward and I'll say um, trend relevant uh, products to meet with the millennials are looking for. Because what we found is that, that specialty dried fruit is usually becoming somewhat commoditized and we need to bring some points of difference uh, to that. And again, that's going to involve whether it's organic, which we're going to right now on a couple of our items, but likely will involve different mixes, different pack formats, uh, different price points, etc. Great. Well, thank you. Uh, read more about this in American Vineyard Magazine where we're going to have uh, proceedings from today's event and we look forward to what SunMade has to bring uh, the industry with, with the new marketing efforts here. Yeah. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.